I got a really cool spot for you guys today. I'm at this gorgeous, gorgeous lakefront resort. It's not too gorgeous anymore, but it was before you could tell. I'm here, I'm trying to be a little bit quiet because there's people working on the property, but I'm in the big joint. It's the best looking one. It's getting demolished in any day now because they're here already. I hope you guys are gonna enjoy this one. Let's jump right in and let's get exploring. beautiful view of the water we've got a couple walk out walk out little sitting areas but like look at the roof here too beautiful tall some old books Weird that there's so much mold on that on the top floor. We still have a bed set up. It is a really cool, really cool skylight. So you can tell people have been here partying. Apparently this place has been abandoned for quite a while now. And it's pretty much at the point where they've demolished all the other buildings, except for this one. So it will be happening very soon. It's a nice big bathroom. Ooh, a dirty toilet. Lots of beer around. Cool to see a couple beds set up still. Well, there's a little like reception area. This is just to the other side of this room here. So you can kind of see. There's nice lights in the bathroom. Just to get out onto the ceiling. There's a bit of a walkway there. not doing too good look at that it's starting to fall right down because of the ceiling It's old school TV. I'm gonna come right back. I just heard the machine stop. So I just disappeared there for a second just to see if maybe 
maybe they're leaving for the day. This must have been abandoned for a while. Oh. The TVs and the beds are still there. This is just a storage room, a couple empty shelves. Kind of like this room, only without anything in it. Microwaves, small chairs. TV. And this room is kind of blocked, but we've got a couple cribs. The old TV. Very cool. Front area. And here we just got ourselves a big old banquet hall. Want to see if there's anything here? There is not. We're on the second floor now. It's like some sort of a ballroom. All your couches and nice chairs. Lamps. As we come in here, we have a nice 
glass chandeliers on the roof. There's where that floor fell down that we seen. So to get over there, I'm gonna have to walk around. I don't want to risk walking on all that. kitchen but with that ceiling coming down there's no going in there for the pool. Jesus. This is not safe at all. I can hear the machine going again, that's why I'm talking slow again, quietly. Little office room. Definitely a little restaurant, a little kitchen area. There's other buildings on the property, but they're all pretty much gutted if they're not demolished already. These guys can't work all day, so eventually when they're gone, I'll see if I can't check out a little bit more of the property.
This deck goes all the way around the front. Beautiful. trucks is just outside that door. Just why we're being extra quiet. Okay. Furnace room. Couple bathrooms. Not fitness room. side. Very cool. Another old machine. Giant computers. Guess this would have been I was gonna guess a restaurant but it's got a little kids play area over there so possibly not do a little look in there and animal crap everywhere around here now all the kids toys that are still left that ain't right just the bathroom areas nothing too crazy this is cool See, while I was upstairs filming, they were down here. And as they've gone upstairs, I came downstairs. <laughs> like a ninja. There's always stuff in the pool. That pool's cracking bad, too. Look at that. Yikes. There was your workout one. Let's 
see wind coming down everywhere. Not a very safe spot at all. as far as the walls go there we don't want to go all the way over just in case we uh, don't get back out that piece of machinery Take another quick picture there. So that's going to be it for the main area. I'm going to hang around a little bit, see what time these guys go home. If I can check out the other buildings, I will. So I'll just kind of show you guys. Through here, again, is where all of this cool stuff was. This cool hall, awesome ceiling. Again, with all the wood and everything. I came back in to take one more little peek well, the workers are gone just to see if I missed anything. And since the one truck was parked right here, I couldn't get over here. He was just right out there, so I had to be careful. But this is kind of the front entrance almost. Excuse me. It's a beautiful cabinet. Who would not want that? Wow. And it's old. Like that was built a long time ago. Wow, that's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I love wood. Things made out of wood. It's warm. It's beautiful. The fly too. Lethal weapon. Old school movies. Yeah, see, we didn't get to see any of this. It's a good thing I came back. Again, November 2009. But we've already seen 2011. So we're going to be going with that. This was your office. And so the buildings behind us, they were just telling me, the couple people that I met there, that they are, um, 
they're timeshare, like rental condos. And there's one on that side, there's one on the opposite side. So they're guessing that that's probably what's going to go here is going to be condos. Like this should be another resort or something right by the water. I know they're going to be able to get a lot of money for, for every individual unit because it's going to be a lakefront condo. So every unit's going to be worth a lot of money. But this is such a beautiful area that it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be like that just a couple condos for certain people this should be another type of resort they should rebuild another place here so that everybody can come and enjoy this area this is a beautiful part of ontario the guy was saying he's not sure if there's much draw left really to bring people here to this chunk of the world but honestly i, I think it still does i don't see why it wouldn't why it wouldn't have the appeal. I mean, the place is abandoned and I drove up here. <laughs> Imagine what it'd be like if it wasn't abandoned. All these old, old TVs. Nice little copier unit. Don't forget the toner. Whoa, the snow's coming in through the window there and made the floor quite slippery. Still got all their files left. I seen another table tennis paddle. Now we got two, we can play a game. Holy, that's a safe. It's a big boy safe and it's got like a little money drop area. I've never seen that before. Bank of Wigamog. One dollar. There's a whole ton of them around. That's a big safe. Um Okay. So just Wigamog dollars all over the place. Tons of stuff. A weird box with a hole in it. Oh. We got another floor. Oh, well, yeah, we know we had another floor. Look at everything in here. So much stuff everywhere. Excuse me. There's starting to be like a whole bunch of personal photos. Got a whole lot of slides. And personal photos, a bunch of money, rolls, and random stuff like that. Come on, camera. There we go. See what I mean? Photos like that around. I'm glad I came back though to take a peek of all this. There's a whole stack of those party hats that we kept seeing all over the floor. Got a certificate over there. Oh. That's pretty cool. Volleyball championships. I don't understand how all this stuff is left. Like even the two people that I talk to, they don't even know why. They don't have a story of what happened. Who are we in here already? We must have been with this door. We got this room here that we didn't see. We came up those stairs. I'm wondering if maybe we stayed away from this half because the workers were there at that point. Makes sense. Got a scale over there. A 
I'll show you these last couple rooms. Yeah. Now I remember where we are. You guys all remember. Very, very cool. Styrofoam everywhere. Now we want to go all the way down to get out. <coughs> this place is awesome. It's huge. And it's just Brandon all by himself. Explorers, I just want to show you we've got a building over there, a couple buildings there. That's the big one that we were in. Let's check out this one. The uh, the workers are gone. I hung around for an hour, watched them leave. So now it's free range. Some crazy fridges. So I think we've seen in here. My battery kept dying for some weird reason. We see you. Big old fridge. Pretty neat. November 2012 is when that calendar says. So is this place over 11 years? Over 11 years abandoned. Some nice washrooms and some serious wood. Oh, beautiful. The size of this dance hall. Got a nice fireplace. Beautiful fireplace. And there's your little stage right there. Yeah, this place smells abandoned. I like that. The other place was so open it didn't really have that smell. This one certainly does. Look at that unit. Beautiful. Probably not going to work because it's not plugged in. Not a ton of plates left. Two lawnmowers. I didn't see the red one. Just a ton of junk. Alright, so that's the kitchen. We walk through that way. Well, there's an upstairs. Very cool. Another big, beautiful room. There's your cash register down there, though. Tons of glasses, shot glasses. And somebody lined them up and shot them. Very cool bar. Place has some real nice fireplaces all over. It's beautiful, it's huge. And the way it sets back there. It's a nice piece of furniture. Too bad it's in this condition, though. This would be behind your bar. And it was nice, the workers, as they were leaving, Waved, said goodbye. <laughs> Pop 
pineapple juice, salt and pepper in ketchup containers. So we were there already as well, but we want to go back up these stairs. Let's see what's going on upstairs. <laughs> it's a front to a bunch of gas station, bunch of gas uh, machines. One, two, three, four, five of them. I wonder if those are expensive. Oh. I thought there was a light on up here, but it's a little tiny window. That little window up there. Makes it nice and bright. All right, Got a license plate, and a ton of paperwork. Looks like all the paperwork ended up in here. It's piling up. There's the lake out there again. I'm telling you what a beautiful property this is on. This unit look out over the water and is that not beautiful very cool it's your old phone paperwork all over the floor This place isn't going to be around much longer. So if there are little hints in the paperwork, I probably don't have to. I don't have to get rid of it. See a little computer room. No old equipment left. Literally just left everything. I noticed the workers that were here, one of the guys was putting a bunch of doors into his own truck as they demolish it they take things that they like nothing wrong with that at all it's good for stuff to get reused wow <laughs> this upstairs just keeps going a lot of beautiful tables though all the all the nice wood Well, that hallway in a second. Did we come to? We didn't see down there. With that nice foosball table over there. So we'll have to check that out. There's stairs right there, so we can get there easy. Weird with these couple doors closed. Makes you think somebody's staying in there. So we just got empty rooms in here. But they're nice, like it's not in the most horrible of condition. Old school pictures of the place. That's pretty cool. Got a little attic. So let's go down. Let's go down, shall we? It's much nicer now that I know that the workers are gone. I can talk at a normal, a normal level. Bunch of cards. I guess we'll keep going, but I want to see what's in that other room. Washroom. Another washroom. Alright. So we were in here, and we went up those stairs over there. What we didn't do was come through here. 
to the games room. It's weird, almost looked like a safe. Chunk to an engine. There's your foosball table. There's your ironing board. That shouldn't be in the game room. Tons of books. Some board games. That's cool. A little movie area. A little sit-in room. What do we got? We got fatherhood. Four weddings and a funeral. Life, heart and soul. 28 days. All right. Young Sherlock Holmes, Chicken Run. <laughs> Somebody stood up, stand by me because they like it. It is a classic. Is that a cobweb coming off it? So they stood it up a while ago. <laughs> nice leather couch. Very sturdy, very tough. Bunch of Uno cards on the ground. Step up ledge. This is a little reading room with a really weird. Almost looks like there was another pool. Almost looks like this opened up and there was a pool down there. Oh. Is that what that looks like? A pool? Yeah, it even smells like a pool. You can see there's a couple vent things on the wall, like right here. If you can see that. There we yeah. go. Whoop. Stop for a second. That's just underneath your stairs. Sorry if some of the filming is a little bit off there. Yeah, I think there was a pool in here at one point. It's very weird that they just boarded it up, covered it up. That's definitely what that was. An old pool. Some more stairs. We don't need to go up those stairs. Does this look familiar? Yes, it does. Then we went down that way. All right, so that's going to be it for this building. Just a sink. All right. So let's go. connected decks very very cool So we got to be careful. Not much going on down here. So that's okay. Just 
extra tables. Is this not the way I come in? No, but we'll take it out. Let's take a peek at these ones before we make it back over to that far one. Let's go on this one first before we go crawling into any windows. I see footprints, so somebody's been here. Again, it could have just been the demo, guys. Whoa. What a washroom. Couple of couches. Another old bathroom. A bedroom. And that's it for this one. Just a small little unit. They didn't give it a... Uh, they didn't give it a basement. Let's go out here. Just hoping there's going to be an easier way into this one instead of climbing through that window. And yes, there is. Perfecto. No, never mind. <laughs> Certainly makes things easier than climbing in a window. Come and do a load of nice chairs. You have to be careful with this one because of the way the ceiling looked like it was coming down. Look at all the stuff on the ground. Is that animals bringing that in? Because that's a lot. There's one door over there. And it's just a bathroom. So this is going to be a couple separate units. This one's one, and then you'd have to climb into the window to get into the other one. You guys understand. The other side's probably going to look pretty much the same. All right, two units here. So let's go down to that one look at that all the doors are open on the moose motel still got your bed and the washroom and the closet They're all pretty much going to be the same. We'll just take a peek. This one's got the bed made still. Yellow pages. Nice little area to hang out. I'm going to be able to come out and then go back into this door. we can. <laughs> A giant ice machine. Very cool. Who wouldn't want an ice machine? A 
The last room's the same. But this little hut down here appears to have an open door. Again, the beautiful water down there. Ooh, look at this snazzy room. Comes with its own kitchen. Completely empty for everybody. It's a real nice room. Bunch of fireplace. You wake up and look out the window and boom, the water. So it'd be a little bit more of an expensive cabin to rent from here, I'm sure. It's got three rooms, well, two rooms, plus a pull out. Those are the ones we just checked out there. Mm -hmm. well, very nice. There's not going to be a basement again. It's too close to the water. So I'll catch you over by the rec center. Just want to give you a little look again. That's that big cabin that we were just in with the two beside it that's the one where we went into that door but we didn't go in that window we checked out that one this is what's starting to go on with the demolition now that's the big one we we did originally we're gonna check that little one we still got this one here to check and then You can see the top of it, that building right there. That's got the rec center and everything in it. So we're gonna have to check it out also. Um, guess we might have to go down to come up. I love walking through these crazy places. Especially when it's not so easy. You got to go down to go up to go around old cooker really old tv things crazy and that's awesome that's some old wood that was made a long time ago same with that one there more kitchen equipment mirrors ac units more old TVs, couches and old dressers. Another <laughs> crazy old workout machine. That's nuts. I wonder what the date on that thing would be. Another big old TV. Maybe we might be able to get upstairs. If not, this is still pretty cool. Tons of info, order papers, and again, more files to the place. Stuff that we don't need to go snooping around. There's a, a newspaper here. What does it say for a date? 96. The Toronto Star, Saturday, May 4th, 1996. But again, this place was probably abandoned in 2011. this old stuff look all these cabinets are really old it's very cool another Christmas tree this one's missing its top that might be part of it there mouse nests lamps pull out beds just a lot of extra stuff for the for the motel hotel and resort they're all here all three of them not cool okay I didn't notice how the mold was starting on this on the roof on the ceiling a lot of artwork where's my man Jeff on the liquidator could sell those no problem 
and I could sell them to him, which makes me even better. This is, looks like it's gonna be more rooms. Nice ones though. Very nice. That branch almost come in through the window. That's the beast sitting outside, if anybody's wondering. It's really cool. I think most of the stuff's still here almost. Like a phone here with a phone book. It looks like both beds were kind of being used. I wonder if somebody was squatting here. I don't see why not. Bed all folded up, but I like how they all got the Y'all got a fireplace. That's very cool. The floor's starting to give in there. So nobody broke this mirror here, but somehow some of the cushions ended up outside. Okay. Oh. Right after I said it, I stepped right in the hole like an idiot. All right. So from here, we are going to go up those stairs through here. This way. This place seems a little bit more industrial where the other ones kind of seem cottagey this one seems like it would be in a city concrete floors somebody's burning some cds like it's 1998 table somebody's put some horrible stuff on it a box of tissues oh okay what's going on with all this dust on the floor ah somebody was spraying those that's what it is the fire extinguishers they'll fill this whole hallway and end up being dust I was at a cottage, see? That's what all this is. That's all from the fire extinguisher. Me and my buddies were up at a cottage in Montreal once and we were all inside hanging out and then one buddy decides to grab the fire extinguisher and spray it. And sure enough, it filled the whole cabin with this yellow dust. We all had to run out. <laughs> like, look, it's everywhere. These things do their job. Coffee maker set up. It's always weird when you see just something like that. Like who decided to put that on the bed? So that's gonna be it for this one. Oh no. Oh. I don't wanna go out that way. I wanna take pictures in the basement. So I'm gonna go that way 
and I'll meet you guys on the path headed toward the rec center. So I just got to this door. I'll show you again. So this is what they're starting to demolish. There's the beast and the ones that we've checked out all on that side. We've even checked up to that one there. So we've got that building and then just that one. We've already done this big one, but check that out. This one's got a pool. We'll do a closer look at the pool once we do a better look at the inside here. Actually, from here we can do one of these. Beautiful, is it? Again, right by the water. Man, if I could buy this place and turn it into my own compound, wipe out all this and make a big unit, just one big fortress. Yeah, this is real nice here. Except for the condition that it's in, of course, but you had your big window to look out over the lake. And real nice. Little jacuzzi tub. Still lots of mattresses and everything left here. Oh, my jacket caught the door. All right. So that's gonna be it for this one. I like it though, so I wanna take a few pictures. So you guys meet me right there. So again, there's a cool one with the pool. That's what they've been demoing. The guy today was breaking up this one right here. That's why everything looks so fresh. The dirt looks so fresh. So when I was in here, cause this is the main big one, I was up there peeking through that window, watching them work right here. It's obviously gonna be no power cause they're just driving over power lines. Now those couple huts in the garage up there, they're owned by the, there's still a nice little area, a little living area behind here. And that's what that's from. <laughs> that beautiful area that my thumbnail is, that's the front of this building. That's kind of weird, eh? How from the front it looks absolutely beautiful. But then this is the back. See that little peak? We were in that room looking out over the water. That's where I did my intro right there. So that's where our reference point is. But the front of the building's beautiful. And then the back of this one, very weird. I got a couple old tourists here. Never seen them before. They're just walking by. I'm gonna go say hello and check out the rec center. All right. Let's see what we can find in here. So those old people, they were awesome. They just lived close and they were just walking by. They just wanted to see see the difference because the last time they were here, was, they said it was about five years ago. They said they're going to come back now in another 10 to see just what happens with this place in the future. Because as he was saying, this is million dollars worth of lakefront property. So they've got to definitely be doing something. been 11 years it's or 12 years now it's been long enough I say it's definitely time to take this bugger down put up something amazing that people can start to use again because where this is it should be getting utilized should definitely be people oh. I guess I'm gonna have to go around and see maybe if there's a front, a front way to get in to this rec center. All right. We made it to the top of the, the rec center. Mm, smells like Play-Doh in here. I wonder if it's whatever all that is. Mmm, Play-Doh. Some serious washing machine units. Look at that. Holy. There's gonna be 
some way to unlock it, but I do not know how. Just pillows, blankets, random stuff. TV remote, pillows. Very cool. Very cool. So at first, when the guys were all hanging around, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get to see all of these little buildings. But yes. Yes, we did. Alright. We'll take a peek in that garage just to see if there's anything... Anything worthwhile. But see, that's the other... Uh, that's the live-in, lived-in complex. So we just, we don't want to bug them. We don't want them to think that once I'm here, a million people are going to come because then they don't like me. So I'm going to sneak over there. You guys are already in there? Holy, all right. Well, here I come then. So there's a few things. We got some more license plates. And now it looked like they have possibly a uh, tennis court back there. All these weird units. But if we can see, if I can show you, we've got another old TV. Every TV in here is so old. It's like this place went abandoned before flat screens. Were flat screens out in 2011? I can't remember. Saw blades. It was almost like this was a rec center, but then turned into a storage slash maintenance room. Because it looked like there was, there was work being done on stuff. <laughs> Geo holiday. Whatever that means, but they got a whole lot of them. So it meant something. So this door is open. Yeah, there's definitely a... Definitely a tennis court there. Might be a little bit hard to get to. But that's it for... Oh, we're not even in the rec room anymore. We're in the garage. That's why. <laughs> I forgot about that. We made a switch. Nothing. Empty. Okay. Well, let's see what else I can get into. And... If it's anything cool, I'll show you. All right, everybody, what do you guys think about this, eh? So it's a little bit faster and a little bit quicker than normal. Normally I'm checking everything out, every little nook and cranny, and I'm touching everything, but in this place, with the workers upstairs, and the workers were downstairs, and they're all around the building, I had to make it a little bit quicker. It was a bit of a drive to get here, so I had to do it while I was here. I hope you guys enjoyed it still. Like it, subscribe it, share it. Thank you for the comments, for the love, for the views, for all your support. Brandon Abandoned, and I'll catch you on the next Explore. Ciao.